Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome to another Indie Game Friday, the series where I take a look at independent role-playing games. This week we'll be covering a story-heavy tactical RPG, Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire. Developed and published by Whale Hammer Games, it was released on August 31st, 2016, and is available on Steam and GOG.com at a normal price of $14.99. Ordinarily, I only give a brief description of the opening story of a game, but Tahira is really so much about the story that it's almost more about the story than the gameplay. You play the part as the Princess Tahira, upon a world that hosts the remnants of a star-spanning human civilization. Said civilization fell long ago, leaving the people of the world stranded and descending into a medieval lifestyle. The people still remember that they once walked the stars, which makes their current state that much more tragic. As the game begins, Tahira has been estranged from her father for a few years, wandering the land and trying to do right by the people, in contrast to what she sees as her father's preference to stay holed up in his city fortress. One night, as she's camped out with her surprisingly intelligent horse, she is met with a vision of her father, projected by something they call the Light which tells her that a great evil army has spread through the land and she is needed to lead her people. The vision closes with instructions that she should head through the land to meet with his armies and receive this mysterious staff. Tahiro does so, and along the way learns not only of the troubles her people have faced, the devastating advance of an army calling themselves the Astral Empire, in reference to their long-lost progenitors, but also that her father was a greater man than she gave him credit for. She acquires the help of some of his former allies and is given a mystical staff that is a remnant of the advanced technologies of the ancients. She proceeds to try to turn the tide against this new astral empire. During these travels, you will not only accrue new troops and learn new tactics, but are given the occasional chance to explore an area, interacting with objects to uncover clues, flashbacks, or learn more about the story. Most of the progression seems to be through cutscenes, where you are occasionally given dialogue options which may have an impact on how other characters see you, but also allow you to demonstrate how Tahira approaches her newfound authority. The game is, however, a tactical combat RPG at its core, with less focus on character advancement and more on the story itself, on troop positioning and attacks, use of special abilities, and so on. Generally speaking, the overall story moves you from one set piece to another along the way, with each map presented from an isometric overhead view, with movements divided out amongst a grid. Each character can move and take an action. Movement is limited by the number of movement points a character has, but need not be taken all in one go. This may allow you to move a character into position to provide a flanking bonus to another, then move again to execute their own action against another target. Movement may be limited by barriers on the terrain, but also may be limited by zones of controls and the presence of other characters. A character can't move through another character, and enemy characters have zones about them, allowing them to take free attacks against most characters as they pass through. Actions can vary from basic attacks to special attacks. Most troops have at least one sort of special attack in addition to restoring their guard. Each special action takes willpower, of which each unit has a limited amount of. Killing enemies restores willpower, so if a particular unit runs out, they can restore it via combat. Attacks get bonus damage based on the number of friendly troops adjacent to a target, and some troop types benefit from this flanking bonus more than others. When a character is subject to an attack, the first few points are inflicted against their guard, which can be restored with the Restore Guard ability mentioned above. Once their guard is broken, then they take damage against their hit points, which, once exhausted, means that the character has died. As you progress through the game, further combat concepts are revealed, from holding ground or interacting with allied troops, to the ambush system, which allows you to hide certain characters in ambush tiles so that they can pop out at the rear of an enemy during any point of the turn. Overall, it makes for quite an interestingly complex combat system. And that's good. Because like so many tactical RPGs, the game is otherwise quite linear, or at least from what I saw. It does have an autosave feature so that you are pretty much forced to live with the consequences of your actions during a particular playthrough. I suppose that does provide a sort of realism to the story progression. 
As far as graphics and music are concerned, everything seems hand-drawn, and while it probably could use a bit of polish, it's not bad at all. The animations, when they occur, are pretty fluid, but there are instances where there are no animations for certain interactions, especially during cutscenes. The look and feel of it is somewhat vaguely reminiscent, at least for me, of a poor man's banner saga, which is not a bad thing at all. It does have a sort of Middle Eastern to Asian flair to it, which is an intentional design decision, and one which I was think was pulled off rather well. The soundtrack is marvelous, beyond just fitting. It really does help to build the atmosphere behind the game, and rarely ever becomes repetitive. So what's the takeaway of all this? In my opinion, Tahira is quite a solid game for those who really enjoy tactical RPG combat, but can overlook the somewhat linear way in which it is presented. The story is quite involving, and I honestly didn't want to stop playing to write this review up. At $14.99, I can say that if you're a fan of these sorts of games, you won't go too far wrong. Though if you want a more in-depth, statistical, individual RPG, you're probably better served with something else. And with that, I'll wrap this up. This has been the RPG Crawler with Indie Game Friday to Hero. Links will be in the description below as always. If you like what you've seen, remember to hit that like button, comment if you have feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.